who was brought down in the box by ever experienced uh, Aisha Natonga. Oh, and here comes Yakate! Makes it simple and threw it down the right way. And Yakate gets the first ever goal for Senegal in this competition. Scored twice, a goal each in two legs against Liberia. And a fine form in front of goal plus exposure to European football certainly has come good for Senegal with this exquisite penalty taken and Arturo once again was trying to do the right thing by dealing with the ball but obviously our Diakati had di different ideas different ideas indeed and in a moment of the last 10 minutes where Uganda dominated much of the ball possession creating more of those goal scoring opportunities one moment of lapse in concentration inside the box well the second ball is not being picked up by the uh, Crested crane speed well. Oh, not the best of balls, and it is Indiaye gifted with opportunity to make it to Indiaye goes from the goalkeeper. Indiaye! Well, the flag has gone up. <laughs> well, she was hoping to celebrate in Gwena Indiaye, but her celebration has been cut short there with the assistant referee flagging her offside. Who would that a Fine from Tunisia as well? Was she? Slightly offside, slightly offside, but then again, Uganda really caught into possession there, losing the ball in a very, very dangerous area and almost punished for it. Ooh. Well, I'm sure they'll be asking for a second look at it if the VR will be giving them opportunity. And maybe, mm. maybe something is being looked at. Maybe there would be going to be an opportunity for. Uh, we look at it. The decision will have to come in at some point. We did see that yesterday. And uh, that was when the, the referee had to go back and uh, get the support of the VR. And uh, it was a free kick taking, and the uh, referee really still having a communication going on. And so. waiting patiently for that to happen these are nervous women there for the players and they especially so for the crested cranes and they indeed but this is a great intervention uh, by CAF to really try and progress the game of women's football with the intervention of VAR the point is at what point would you call that an offside was it that the foot went ahead of the uh, center back in terms of India's positioning in the box or again she moved quite early before the ball came in and, and that's really been the discussion going on in terms of what position was it that India found itself as offside because I think there's two matters to to sort of review here when the ball was released was she already in an offside position but if if it is that she was not is it just the slightest bit of measures of the soccer boot? Well, so that decision has come in. It's Sunil there for the Lioness of Ter Terenga. Just we were talking about it. India and Gwena is now going to celebrate. She's been looking for that particular moment in India and Gwena. And so the dancing continues. It's Sunil there uh, for the team. The Lioness of Terenga making the third appearance in this competition. Having really the not been able to move out of the group stages it appears this time they're looking for it for that no, absolutely great composure shown there by dia to make sure that she holds the line and like we said slightest and slightest of margins but she is in line that's where VR comes in to really in there she was late they tried to push up but she was late and um, therefore they are really punished for it and uh, this does now really set Uganda on, on the back foot to really try and regain and see if it is that they can make their way into the fight back. You're yeah, just talking about the uh, changes made and uh, the effects it's going to have on the game here mm -hmm. for the Crested Cranes, but there you have their response quickly coming through from the Lionesses of Taranga and just getting the second goal gives them that uh, uh, breathing space for them to just get the games or perhaps to cool down the tempo, but uh, it will be the uh, Crested Cranes who have uh, Najemba always looking to run with the ball there. Always looking to run with the ball, but she needs the necessary supply. She doesn't have... So that's it, uh, goal from... Uh, 
Diakate and Ndiaye gave Senegal the whole three points as they defeated Uganda two goals to nothing. So Senegal is already, of course, topping their group with three points, and of course, even with the a goal difference now. So Senegal is ahead of Morocco because of their two goal uh, their difference in this group A. Uh, uh, in this group A. So their next game will be against Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso already lost to um, Burkina Faso already lost to Morocco. So Senegal will play Burkina Faso next. Why uh, Uganda will be playing uh, Morocco? 